Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Thais Gaines, and I'm here today talking with Dr. Heather MacArthur, Medical Director of Breast Oncology at Cedars-Sinai, and today we're talking about triple negative breast cancer. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. MacArthur. Thank you for having me. It's a sincere pleasure to be here with you. So you're presenting a trial in progress regarding the use of pembrolizumab with radiation therapy for patients with operable triple negative breast cancer. What's the rationale for integrating immunotherapy in this particular setting? Right, so this is based on prior work that we had done in the metastatic setting. So the basic premise is that if you can break down the tumor into tiny fragments that are more digestible by the immune system and then boost the immune system, that you could get a more robust tumor-specific immunity. So we had previously done work where we administered checkpoint blockade drugs in women who were undergoing breast cancer brain metastases, standard of care radiation, and saw amazing responses outside of the radiation field. We also did a study previously in women with metastatic triple negative breast cancer, again combining pembrolizumab, a checkpoint blockade drug, with radiation, uh, where radiation was administered to body sites outside of the brain and saw incredible responses outside of the radiation field. So whenever we see promising strategies in the metastatic setting, we often move those strategies into the curative intense setting to see if we can improve cure rates, and that's what we've done here. And what was the design of this particular trial? So the design of the study is to look at safety. So essentially, we are moving the boost of radiation. So we're enrolling women with triple negative breast cancer for whom standard of care radiation after surgery is planned. And we're just moving part of that radiation into the preoperative setting. So they're still getting the same radiation that they would have received off a trial. We're just changing the sequence around. We give the drug of pembrolizumab one dose, and then we give a second dose together with three doses of radiation given in three sequential days. And we're looking to see that the combination of checkpoint blockade with this dose and schedule of radiation in the preoperative setting is safe and feasible. And how many patients are we talking about here? So we have two separate cohorts, a triple negative cohort of 10 patients, and the plan was to expand to a high-risk hormone receptor positive cohort, again, of 10 patients, should we see some um, effectiveness in the triple negative cohort. So that expansion is planned. And what are the primary endpoints to this study? The primary endpoint is safety. So the last thing that we want to do is undermine uh, standard of care curative intent treatment. So we want to ensure that we're not compromising the surgery plan, and also we allow physicians to give chemotherapy after the intervention because we want physicians to be physicians and give what they think is the best treatment. So we want to ensure that the planned chemotherapy and the planned surgery per standard of care is administered without compromise. So the primary endpoint is safety and feasibility. And so when will we get a chance to see the results of this study? So I'm anticipating that we will be able to report on the results early in 2019. Awesome. That's very exciting. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for watching this practice update.